Hey now guys, what is happening? I am back here with another Daredevil book review. Uh, volume 19, Root of Evil, which, thank God guys, is the end of D.G. Chichester, his run on Daredevil, and his highfalutin, wannabe pulpy Norish style of writing. Um, I'm not going to go into that, guys. Uh, I'm just going to get down to business and just tell you... Uh, uh, the stories aren't boring per se, but I, I, I pretty much burned out on Daredevil. I think this is the problem. I, I'm, I'm ready to just throw in the towel. I have two more volumes to go, 20 and 21, and then I can move on to something else. I love Daredevil. I love Matt Murdock, but for whatever reason, we've reached this period where it's just nothing matters. Um, little backstory. Uh, so because of, uh, the uh, the the whole about face virus, the Hellspawn, which is the doppelganger of Daredevil during the Infinity War, dies. Uh, it you know it absorbs the uh, the about face virus, becomes human, looking like Matt Murdock because it's his doppelganger, and everyone thinks that's Matt Murdock. Matt Murdock is dead. So Matt decides because his identity was revealed as Daredevil decides to kill himself, use Hellspawn's human corpse that looks like him as Matt Murdock and have everybody think Matt Murdock is dead. So he adapts the or adopts this gray armor suit, which is horrible. Uh, he assumes this new identity of Jack Batlin, which is a play on battling Jack Murdock, his father. And he becomes a con artist and he moves into a new apartment. He, you know, just has a new life as this new persona. And it's just really not interesting at all. The first storyline stretches from 333 to 337, which is a five-part story, which has like the worst storyline title I've ever heard. It's and it's it, they don't they can't even decide. Marvel can't even decide which it is. It's either Humanity's Fathom or Fathoms of Humanity. Both suck. I, I hate it. I hate the titles for either one. But basically, Daredevil goes underground. He meets these. Uh, underground dwellers not morlocks but they're kind of morlocks because there's some there's some creatures that are um belong to this dude called the king who looks like the kingpin and i thought it was maybe his evil doppelganger i don't know it, it was a very confusing storyline but meanwhile the kingpin is coming back he's getting his empire back on track and daredevil is just figuring it out he's these two guys are um named uh, was it ralphie and ed are accused of these parking garage bombings. Turns out it, it's a it's a this guy Jenkins Walter Jenkins. What what was his reason? I totally forgot. I don't know. But then the leader of the dwellers, his name is Joshua, is the peacekeeper. And Matt Matt says, "Oh yeah, I remember stories about you when I was a kid." I'm like, "What? Huh?" So I mean, the storyline. I got through it, if that tells you anything, guys. I got through th that storyline. Then we get the Electro Root of Evil 1 through 4 limited series. It's a four-part limited series. Each page, each, excuse me, each book is 36 pages. And it's written by D.G. Chichester. But by the way, the, the previous storyline from 333 to 337 is by Gregory Wright, who did all the annuals of Daredevil from 5 to 10. Um, so that's like, what, from 1989 to 1994. And then he did these five issues i guess like a fill-in of sorts then chichester did the electro root of evil uh, which was pretty good i mean much like how daredevil man of fear was for matt and daredevil we got this for electra uh electra it, it, it flashes back to her childhood and her father and her brother orestes and electra and orestes for those of you who don't know it's greek greek plays but they're spelled differently. Arrestus has a Z instead of an S. Electra has a K instead of a C. Um, so, uh, and their father Hugo is the ambassador and he gets killed. And their mother Christina is a whore. She's like fucking all these guys, even though she's pregnant with Electra. Weird convoluted stuff. But then it takes place in the in the present day where Electra goes after the Snake Root clan who are part of the hand. They're the inner circle of the hand. You know, Takagi and Osaku and... Lord Daito, Lord Daito kills himself because he's a failure. So then Takagi takes over. What was the other guy named? Taneki or Takegi or something? Takegi? Yeah, something, something like that. Um, and Electra 
takes them all out. She she creates a team called the not Ryu like from Street Fighter. It's R Y U, but it's pronounced Ru or Ryu. Um, and they get slaughtered by <laughs> the Snake Root, but she eventually kicks their asses by themselves. And actually, it was a pretty good uh, mini series or limited series. Uh, and by Chichester too but again a lot of wordy stuff very talkative but overall it was better than the, the previous storyline and then 338 to 342 is a storyline that involves the kingpin and this dude uh named cruel with a k vic crueler very very uh original seeking revenge on foggy and karen and uh gloriana obreen uh she gets killed off, by the way, Gloria. She gets thrown out the window. But Foggy Karen, uh, Kathy Mulper, and Ben Urich witness the Kingpin beating the shit out of this guy who used to work for him, setting him him and the this diner on fire. Um, and the guy survives, and then he comes back and tries to kill everybody who witnessed and didn't help him so that he can remember. And of course, Kingpin is involved. Kingpin's busy getting his his empire back. But meanwhile, this guy's killing off people. So he seriously injures um, Ben and Doris Urick. He kills Gloriana O'Brien. Um, he nearly kills Foggy and Karen. Um, so Kingpin and Daredevil temporarily, you know, uh, they 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 have a tentative agreement to stop Cruel, and they do. Uh, but of course, Kingpin takes off and does his own thing, and Daredevil's like, eh, shit, okay. And then 343 was a weird one. 343 just has, uh, was it Matt hits his head or something? He gets his ass kicked, and he's he's having an inner battle with his 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 inner voice. Um, and then 344 has, uh, it's a part two of the Over the Edge storyline, which begins in Double Edge Alpha. And then it goes into Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, Incredible Hulk, and then, of course, Daredevil. But at the end, Daredevil uh, comes back in his yellow costume, not his red costume, but his yellow costume, which he started with in the series in the very beginning. And I guess he ditched the, the gray armor, thank goodness. Um, and that will lead into issue 345. I should tell you that um, Chichester did, was it, 340, 338 and till either 343 or 344, or three, three, excuse me, 343, uh, under the name Alan Smithy, which is, um, in, in movies, Alan Smithy is when the director is so ashamed of his, of his, uh, movie that he takes his name off a of credit and they replace it with Alan Smithy in movies. And they did it here in the comic books, but it was by D.G. Chichester. It's funny too. I even, uh, I even, I have communicated with D.G. Chichester on Instagram, by the way. So if you guys want to go there, uh, I feel kind of bad because I said some not nice things to him, and he, but he seems to have like a very good sense of humor about it. So, Chichester, I think knows that his writing is not the best. But go ahead and hit him up, guys, if you want. Um, but no bullying, you know. I think I did that enough for for everybody. Um, yeah, I even I even uh, uh, asked if it was because of Bobby Chase. Bobby Chase, this woman who's now the editor in chief of the books. Uh, she caused a lot of problems for a lot of people when she took over, like Chris Claremont, I'm assuming Chichester. Uh, a lot of people quit because she was just, uh, I'm assuming, a, a real cunt. I don't know. Um, and that's not saying anything about women in general, but just Bobby Chase, you know, not, not I don't hear too many good things about her. Anyway, um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, yeah, so no more Chichester. Uh, uh, 343 was written by Warren Ellis. And that's why it was so fucking weird. And then 344 was uh, J.M.D. Mateus. So we're now going to go from 345 to 50 with J.M.D. Mateus. And I guess we'll get like Carl Kessel and, and all these guys. Let me let me check actually. Uh, oops. No. I, it's funny. D Deadpool right here is next to Daredevil. And the color is practically the same. I mean, Dare, uh, Deadpool has a lighter red. And Daredevil is more maroon. But damn it, I, I keep getting uh, confused. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Purgatory and Paradise, guys, is going to be the next book. Volume 20, 1995 to 1997. So we have two years, or I think like a year and a half of, of stories. Um, and just 345 to 364. So that's 20 issues straight through. No annuals, no crossovers, nothing. Taken to the edge. So I guess this is, uh, yeah, the over-the-edge imprint that uh, 
that Daredevil, yeah, Ghost Rider, Hulk, and Doctor Strange go through for a couple of years, and then it goes nowhere. So we have, so we have Demetrius, Kessel, Wagner, um, Nord, uh, I guess, what was that? Carrie, Carrie Nord, uh, McManus, and Colin, Gene Colin comes back too, so that's really cool. So that's this, guys, this is going to be the next uh, book that I'll read, Volume 20, Purgatory and Paradise. Check that out. Pretty cool. And we're almost the end, guys. Second to the last volume in the Daredevil series. All right, guys. That was pretty painless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And remember, as always, I read these epics so you don't have to. But I do encourage you to read them, guys, because epics are just totally fucking awesome. All right, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.